welcome to the channel and thank you for tuning in so you guys know a couple of days ago there was a situation between glorilla and one of her producers hit kid now she went live to basically explain her side of the story now when she went live she was talking about sweetie if you guys remember sweetie was supposed to be on the remix of fnf but it seemed like her verse was scrapped from the song and it was just lotto and city girls jt on the remix of fnf just hours after the song was released without Sweetie's verse, Glorilla took to her Instagram and said, I want to thank the time to thank my good sis and Sweetie so much. She was the first person to reach out to me when the song blew and when I first saw her, I was in shock because she's one of those girls who I just used to get on her Instagram and stare at her because she's so pretty. When I first met her, she instantly treated me like royalty, like I was her little sister, the vibes was so genuine and sweet. My last day out there was so sad. LOL, we did not want to say goodbye to each other. LOL, I gained a sister for life. You are such a beautiful person inside and out. Thank you so much again. I love you, sis. And Tweety actually took to her Twitter and said, love you too, sis, and keep winning. Now, this is why people feel like Glorilla used Sweetie because Glorilla actually says Sweetie took her and her friends shopping. They went on a shopping spree to a wig store. Basically, I'm guessing Glorilla's manager tried to take over. Anyways, guys, take a listen. We went to the store because Sweetie said she buy all. She was like, I'm buying all y'all, anything y'all want. I was still broke at the time. So, the Balenciaga outfit I first had on when I posted and it popped out, Sweetie bought all this shit for all of us. She bought our wigs. Our wigs were like $3,000, $4,000. Sweetie. No, okay, so this was before she bought it. We went to the wig store. Him and his wife, and they like, y'all gonna get three wigs. These two had. Y'all can't get all these. So they picked who, gonna, who the fuck gonna have the three wigs. <laughs> they said, Glow get a wig and two other girls, Gloss <laughs> and Aliza. <laughs> and they were like, Teaser don't need a wig because she ain't really want her here. Well, this for the set of tone girls. Yeah. Um, Slime got her own real hair, so she don't need a wig. I'm some shit like this, so bam. Um, we getting ready and she, they had got mad, I ain't gonna lie. He, she was in there talking shit, like on some attitude shit. <laughs> hey, what's up, Jerry? <laughs> Jerry, I ain't talking about no uh, legal shit. You know what I'm saying? He just, uh, other shit. So. <laughs> <laughs> this shit through your ass out. You better come knock on these doors. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure why Sweetie's verse was scrapped from the song because I mean she was on there originally. The next thing you know, when we hear the song come out, we hear Lotto and we also hear City Girls JT on the song. Now, in a sense, I guess you could say Sweetie was kind of used because she got Balenciaga. Well, Glorilla got Balenciaga out of Sweetie. And it seems like Sweetie went to the wig store and balled out on these girls for some wigs. So, in a sense, I feel like she was used because, I mean, Sis wasn't even on the song. Like, that's pretty messed up. Like, she was just scrapped from it. Like I said, don't know what happened. Don't know whose side it was to why the song got scrapped so you guys let me know your thoughts and opinions on this down in the comment section below do you feel like sweetie was being used by glorilla or do you feel like the whole situation just didn't work out do you feel like glorilla should have compensated sweetie back for the money that she spent since she was no longer on the song let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below and make sure you guys like share subscribe and hit the notification bell the way you guys can support your girl channel and as always thanks for watching